Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Taurus. Oh yeah, you can see your zodiac sign symbol here. And yeah, let's get straight into what is going on for you. Let's see what's going on for you. Taurus. What is happening with Taurus? Let's cut the deck here. Ooh, we have an official person. So you may have an official job. Maybe it's like I'm looking at military or police officer, judge, lawyer. Let's see. Ooh, there's a courtship going on here. Send a message of saying this person is an official person. This may be to do with this courtship, with the stability. They may have stability here. Let's see what else is going in and happening for Taurus. You might have found somebody that you're interested, that you want to court. Perhaps you're traditional and want to court them, date them. Wow, miracles. So you have miracles coming in for you here. Maybe to do with this person. Yeah, you're focused on this. You're focused on bringing your miracles in or I feel like you, this is double rainbow here. <laughs> wow, this is a new beginning, wow. <laughs> Definitely, you're focused on this new beginning with this person. You feel like it's a miracle. It's like so awesome. And you're really focused on this person. How are you feeling about this? Ooh, at peace. All right. Where did I put my glasses? There they are. Okay. <laughs> Small writing. I can't see it. I am being I am a being of love and release all negative energy. You are definitely at peace with yourself and your situation. Yeah, there's growth here. You may have had some growth here in the recent past to learn some lessons. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Beautiful. So maybe connecting and acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Yeah, there's growth here. Maybe um, some, I'm feeling like wanting to be in control. So perhaps you <clears throat> realize to be in the flow of things is uh, not trying to navigate where this relationship is going. Just let it come in naturally. Let's see here. What else do we have for Taurus? This official person. You are this person is official. So let's see. Going to the sea. So you may have done that seclusion and mulling over and going a deep dive into your emotions here with the water here. Let's see. It might be an emotional time for you right now. Spirit's giving you a leg up here to get through it. Yeah, there's no place like home. Possibly went home to your family. Maybe things didn't work out with you with someone else. And now you're getting a new beginning here. After you've maybe done some work here. You may have taken some time to figure this out. You got 775 here. That might be of significance. Maybe plug that in for your angel number of messages here. Okay. New beginnings, miracles, focus, I like it. Peace and growth and acceptance, yes. Let's have a look, wow, joy. Being impartial about something here. Oh, about a rejection, uh-oh. And recovery, okay. So perhaps you were rejected by this person, possibly in the past. Let's see what's going on here, yeah. Somebody may have been going through some grief here. Joy and rejection. So somebody maybe brought you a lot of joy, maybe got rejected. You may be impartial about it and recovered from it. You learned that it was key to be to have that recovery. Perhaps you've 
trying again with this person. Let's see what's going on with your love life here, Taurus. What's going on here for Taurus? Stay optimistic about your love life and something is coming in here for you. Uh, there was unrequited love or possibly within this courtship here. So <clears throat> you may have accepted this and grown from this. You may have been rejected, but you put yourself out there and that just stay optimistic. Yeah, you had to free yourself or this person did. Maybe you just didn't feel the same about them. Or maybe you're the one that rejected them. Let's see here. <clears throat> What's going on for Taurus here? Hmm, I like you. So somebody likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. So somebody does like you here. So this may be your new beginning. Hmm, hammer. Let's see. Somebody may have sabotaged. They want to rebuild here. They want to work on it. <coughs> on the bottom of the deck <laughs> having a date meeting conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and a friendship here so maybe you become friends and not something romantic right off the bat <clears throat> let's see here Ooh, okay father of the sky i release the weight of the world from my shoulders number seven again all right What's that? Okay, we got a whole bunch here. All right, we're going to take them anyway. <clears throat> and the triple, triple star grid. A line. I connect with my higher consciousness. So you or your person is really spiritual here. I'm kind of getting you, Taurus. Cosmos, you may be ascending. I connect to oneness and expand my awareness. Number nine, towards your fruition here. And we have number eight. So that's taking action <clears throat> probably towards this awareness. So we have eight, nine here. We have universal midwife. You may, I birth fruitful and sacred assignments. So there may be something that you're meant to be doing with somebody here. Number four, this is about your stability. We have number six and seven. Once again, gateways to light infinite i have unlimited access to the divine mind somebody's very connected here with the number six and that <clears throat> is cooperation and harmony with spirit possibly and having that weight of that lifted from you maybe ask for that from your spirits angels and ancestors and spirit guides let's see here what else for taurus Let's crack the deck. You are good enough. So perhaps somebody made you feel less than when they rejected you or you rejected them. Believe in the impossible. This is where that miracle is coming in here. So let's see here what's going on. angel of love wow okay and we have number 13 which breaks down to four this has to do with your stability this is beautiful and what else do we have mm, you may have a little bit of anxiety about this coming in for you being anxious about it let's see you may be a little nervous about this person what is it you want to do with them? Maybe as a an idea for um, whatever you're meant to be doing together here. You may have, yeah, uh, assignments, sacred assignments. What are you supposed to be doing here? Yoga. So perhaps your person's into yoga and chakras, stretching and exercising and embracing yoga. Yeah, because you're very sensitive to energies, you or your person is, or you may even be both just like that. So let's see what we have here. We're going to do some tarot and after tarot as well and see what comes in for this. Because I really want to know, um, perhaps somebody lost somebody. Maybe there was a lot of joy with the idea of having this courtship and then had to reject something here 
feeling impartial about it to have some type of recovery maybe from this grief maybe it was just bad timing but I feel like there's a new beginning here and things start to blossom here let's check it out what's this courtship about with this official person okay so <laughs> queen of swords this is kind of dangerous or deceitful or unforgiving something's going on here why is the queen of swords in reverse why am i deck upside down no <laughs> uh, maybe uh, i don't have them all they're they come out how they come out yeah there's no boundaries here so something's going on maybe somebody's crossing some boundaries for you with this courtship what's this new beginning hmm there might be some secrets underlying this you might be focusing thinking this is a miracle this is a new beginning this is what you've been waiting for yeah that ten of pentacles that legacy building a legacy but there's some some type of illusion romantic illusion this is maybe somebody from your past maybe wanting a new beginning here what's this peace growth and acceptance here what is all that about oh there's an offer coming in the knight of pentacles this is slow and steady wins the race there's growth and acceptance here what is this offer maybe this person's grown since the the past they're very serious about you um perhaps it is a masculine they want some truth or they need to tell the truth or this could be you coming out on your masculine side if you are a feminine there's somebody here wanting to give an offer there might even be two people here let's free yourself here and stay optimistic with this unrequited love there's some there's some type of deceit or something to do with a courtship but somebody from your past there's some type of illusion or lies with the moon there yeah shady ass behavior so needing to free yourself from whoever this is from your past yeah you're not taking the offer you turn this offer down yeah you're waiting for your ships to come in with the three of wands here you're looking at um okay I'm getting dizzy with my glasses on <laughs> you're looking at um <clears throat> your troubles ending and your ships coming in here when it comes to this person yeah for yourself staying optimistic what is this coffee cup i like you about ah there is a blessing a miracle coming in for you ha ah, you're focused on a new beginning here and it looks like it might come in for you yeah there's something that's balanced here this is um libra energy here this could be justice coming in for you somebody might be having to pay karmic debts for whatever they did here what is this sh with this shady ass behavior what is this father of the sky and universal midwife oh there's another offer coming in for you with this blessing yes you might be celebrating here what is the moon card mm -hmm. I'm not taking all those i didn't really even see what that was so believe in the possible what is that please yeah somebody passionately is coming in for you oh they may have been schooled by you or finding out information about you maybe learning how to be financially independent here there may be a message or somebody wants to talk to you this is a new opportunity or they're very enthusiastic about this coming in or you coming in or you someone coming in for you yeah they are coming so what's this anxiety and angel of love what is this angel of love what is this angel of love here for taurus 
Oh, somebody is hanging on to you. One more. Yeah, this is another offer here. Or this is the emperor coming out in... Is it all the kings? King of Cups. Oh, that's the Knight of Cups. The King of Wands, uh, Swords. And King of Cups. So there's two people here. Two people that want to bring in offers. Maybe even three. Let's see. What's this recovery, rejection? So possibly there's two or three people here. Somebody might be giving you grief. Somebody might be giving you joy. Someone you may have to reject. Maybe you're impartial to someone else here. And there's some recovery from this grief, possibly. Yeah, there's an ending here for sure. Yeah, you're making a judgment call here. Or you're calling judgment on somebody. What is to the sea, the leg up, and no place like home? I feel like you have to be on your own to make this decision without anyone influencing you. Yes, there could be somebody that's hassling you about maybe getting an answer or trying to push you into making an, uh, yeah, they're fighting with you. <clears throat> <clears throat> trying to fight for you, but fighting with you, arguing with you. Or there's one that's arguing with you and the other one's coming in to fight for you. Let's see here. What about the sensitivity here? What was the other one? Yoga, right? <clears throat> Ah, somebody's going to get a victory here, and somebody's going to win. It looks like it's a King of Wands here with a King of Cups, and there's a decision to be made here. What is your intuition telling you, Taurus, to walk away from somebody here? And what about your person? Hmm. That they need to adapt, possibly, to whatever you've got going on. Compromise. Let's see. Let's do the after tarot here with this courtship, with no boundaries, with this coldness. Somebody that doesn't show their affection. They want to put in together. They may cooperate at first. This is a person from the past that there's some deception here, some type of lie or illusion that they're trying to sell you on. You feel this is your new beginning coming in, possibly. Someone from your past that you're going to build with. Hmm. Yeah, Knight of Wands in the reverse, but I don't read them in the reverse. So this person does want to come in. Perhaps it's for a good time, not a long time, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> What's this King of Swords here and this offer? What's the King of Swords and this offer here? Ooh, this is a blessing. There's growth here and acceptance here. Let's see, what is this? What's this Ace of Cups here? Ah, you're going to have to make a decision here. You have a courtship here. Somebody wants to cooperate. They come in and maybe just want to have fun. Let's see here. What is this that you're waiting for? What are your ships are coming in? You you don't take this offer. Or your person didn't. There's shady ass behavior here. <clears throat> you don't take it. You know there's something wrong here. I feel like you can see through th this person. Yeah, you, you're not going to be a fool. You, you're you going to leap and then you're going to catch yourself at the last minute and decide, no, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to be the fool. What is this new beginning here? This balance here with the blessing, the cup of love. Yes, marriage here. Somebody really likes you, sees you as marriage material here, Taurus. Or you see your person as this. What is this celebration and offer here? Huh, somebody's having the strength maybe to come in. <clears throat> is this an offer here? Yes, it is. They have the courage to come in and the strength to do so. With Leo behind them, they are going to cultivate what they are 
building towards. They maybe want to build stuff with you. Maybe they're collecting from whatever they're doing for work. Whatever it is, maybe paying off. They're coming forward here with a message. They've learned some things and they're coming in passionately towards you. What is this? Ah. You made a judgment call or somebody had to pay some... Somebody was in karma here, paid their debts. Oh, it looks like it's an emperor. So this may be your person showing up in all four of the queen, the kings. <clears throat> in some of the kings here as the loving side, the playboy side, the charmer, and the serious side of the king of swords, very smart or feels they're smart than everybody else maybe. <laughs> so I know what I'm getting. Ah, look at there's love here. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's see. And they're gonna come in and fight for you. So what is this ending here then with the judgment? Mm, you have the position of advantage here. You have a different perspective of something here about a king of swords. So what is this fighting and this hostility and arguments here? That spirit's going to give you a leg up. Not everybody's able to come with you on your journey here. Spirit might have already told you. Yeah, you're putting a burden down here for somebody. Somebody's a kind of a burden to you. Yeah, this person may come in and feel wounded and want to help take down the walls that are keeping you uh, from wanting them to come in. And I'm kind of getting here that somebody is not worth it. Yeah, that it's just going to be... Yeah, there's that position of advantage again. Then maybe somebody is wanting to fight at all costs here. There's a king of cups here wants to fight for you as well. So there's two people here or this is the emperor. No, I feel like it's two people. You might have to decide between maybe the emperor is included in this. You might have three people that are here. What is this anxiety angel of love here? It's hanging on to you. Yeah, they want to give you an offer. They also have, they've been waiting for this. This is slow and steady wins the race. There's, I feel like you're going to get multiple offers here. You are marriage material. This is the Queen of Pentacles. You're doing well financially, materially successful. And if you aren't yet, it's coming. Let's see. Yeah, you put something to bed, to breast. You, you ending something with one of these people what is this king of wands about in this decision ah because you are single or this person is single there's anxiety here so that may be who had the anxiety here somebody had anxiety who was it who had the anxiety is worried about coming in. Decision. There was somebody else that had the anxiety, I thought. Hmm. <laughs> I can't find it now. Huh. How do you know? I thought for sure somebody had some anxiety here. Oh. I can't find it now, but somebody is having that anxiety about coming in. Oh, maybe it's the King of Cups. Oh, Wounded Warrior. No. No, I don't know. It's not showing up now. Okay, so there's anxiety here. What else was there again? Single. Somebody is single. Maybe you're choosing to stay single, Taurus. What's going on here? Ah, yeah, you may be healed. You might be over whatever this was. So 
somebody might have healed from something else yeah hmm from some shadiness somebody got caught red-handed here so you may have walked away from somebody that did this to you and this may be what you've put to bed might be this emperor where did he go <laughs> no, this, there he is there's love here though somebody might be getting karma and you might be getting your justice about this though so let's see Taurus what is your intuition telling you now ah there's a message here what's this message having to do with with you walking away what is it about ah somebody might put you in poverty here Oh boy. Okay, so that might just be about the money for somebody here. Who wants to take your money. And what about your person you're meant to be with here? What is going on? Hmm. They may want some truth about something or tell you some truth about a queen of wands or that you're beautiful. Oh, that they love you. Wow. They may have juggled you. They may have to tell you some type of truth. Or you may be kind of apprehensive about this person or guarded. You may have started your own business. That might be why you are wealthy. Or you started a new job that made you some money. There's love here though. Somebody wants to marry you. They see you very balanced marriage material here. I guess we'll have to see next time of what's going to happen because it looks pretty clear to me that you're just going to you don't have any anxiety about anything because you've healed you've taken a, out those swords and you caught somebody red-handed so you're not entertaining this emperor and I feel like they may have come in a couple times here the competition may have been with you. It may have been this emperor who competed against you, Taurus, or you competed against your person. Take it however it resonates. You may have fought for this a couple times or tried to come back. And I feel like this person just put it to bed, working on their own pentacles. There might be other people coming in for this person, but right now they're single. They have no anxiety, they're healing, and they caught somebody red-handed. Maybe you, if you are this emperor, and if you are if you are not the emperor, this is your emperor coming in who maybe have wronged you. There is love here. What's underneath that? Yeah, they see you as a sweetheart. They see you very um, truthful and very beautiful. You may be the empress here. You're showing up in three, four, yeah, three out of the four queens in the upright. So, queen of cups, queen of wands, and the queen of swords, which is all the masculine showed up in as well. The king of cups, the king of swords, and the king of wands. Wow. So... Wow, you walked away from your emperor. It was all about the money, though. You had to walk away. Or well, this person walked away from you. Take it however it resonates for you. Flip it, switch it, whatever you need to do for it to resonate. Now, this is what I have for you, Taurus. We'll have to see what happens next time. Please like, share, and subscribe consider being part of the tribe by subscribing and if you want to win a free reading for the month of June because it's always a month behind that I picked the winner for um, for June's reading it's worth $140 Canadian you can win absolutely free I do one a month every month I've been trying to do that I had to skip a couple months there because I had to turn off the comment section but 
things have really panned out now and there's more positivity here with this group of people that are talking in the comments section. I like to see your comments and stuff. I do want to address one thing. I'm all about the positivity. I'm not likely to have any negativity in any of this. I, I try I I try to be on the up and up but the thing is is I'm not gonna lie to you either whatever I see in the cards here is I'm I'm gonna say okay if it's not resonating re resonating with you then maybe that message just isn't for you okay just keep in mind this is a general reading so uh, there are a lot of people out there that may resonate with this even if you don't there's lots of videos that I have that you can check out that may resonate with you a little more anyways Taurus if you want to find out about the free reading go into the community section on my channel and there is a posting there that will tell you exactly how you can win the free reading if you wish to gift it to someone else you of course have to have their permission and they have to want the reading <laughs> and you have to get permission to give me their name and then they will have to email me directly so I can upload and send their personalized video from me to whoever you want to gift this free reading to if you win. So check that out. If you want to gift it, you can. If you want to keep it for yourself, by all means. <laughs> I do want to say thank you for all the donations. If you would like to donate, there is a description box below you click on and it will show you there is a PayPal link you can click on to donate. And if you want to, you also can do super thanks. I also want to say I'm happy to have any new people coming in. Welcome and to all the people that have been helping support me all the way through thank you I appreciate you for sure you've really helped support the channel just by watching the videos I I really appreciate that I'm glad I'm hoping that I'm helping people out here in learning a little bit about spirituality and what's coming in for them all right you guys take care stay blessed we'll see you next time later